Um, Dr. Malcolm McCaskill, I'm a soil scientist with the uh, Department of Economic Development, Jobs, Transport and Resources in Hamilton. And I've been working on a project with uh, Penny Rifkin, funded by GRDC, on nutrition of high rainfall crops. Canola is very responsive to nutrients that the uh, nutrient um, adequate levels that come from other parts of Australia uh, need to be increased for our high rainfall zone. Part of that is, we believe, due to waterlogging, but it's also a very responsive crop to those nutrients. Wheat, on the other hand, the criteria from other parts of Australia seem to be working okay. Particularly once it gets wet feet that it can't <coughs> use its uh, uptake mechanisms deeper down. It's reliant on what nutrients are in the surface and we just have to nurse it along because it's, it's not very good under wet conditions. Yep, and uh, what about soil test critical values? Is there, there's been, you've done some work around that as well? Yes, com compiling all our data with uh, previous data shows that for the high rainfall zone both wheat and canola have a critical coal wall of 29. That's at 90% of maximum yield. But I'm suggesting that because of our higher yields in the high rainfall zone, we shouldn't be looking at 90%. We should be looking at our 95% level that will be slightly higher again. That'll be 33 coal wall. Uh, potassium, uh, we've had responses at much higher levels than from crops in other parts of Australia and I'm suggesting in the interim that we use the criteria for pastures, which is a 90% at 105 coal wool or available, and a 95% at 150. We don't have a lot of points, but I'm suggesting that we need at least eight uh, available sulphur, whereas in other parts of Australia, 4.5 is suitable for for wheat and canola is slightly greater than that. Yes, well, when we're facing a, a paddock or field with uh, nutrient limitations, it's normally not just a single nutrient, be it phosphorus or nitrogen, it's usually multiple nutrients, and we need to get the optimum amount of both. And the optimum depends on the product price and the price of the fertiliser, and also the responsiveness of that crop. Now, the responsiveness depends on the seasonal conditions. So it becomes uh, either a big guessing game or um, a mathematical problem. Now we've taken it as a mathem mathematical problem that can be solved in Excel. We've got a series of Excel decision aids available on the Extension Oz website. And uh, we're hoping that people can begin to use them, provide feedback about the situations they work well and don't work so well, so that we can advance this area for grain growers of the present and grain growers of the future.